So why did God create mankind according to the Quran? Let's look at this as well. The Quran says regarding this in Surah 51 verse uh, 56. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except for them to worship me. That is the divine purpose. The word for worship here is the word ibadah in Arabic. But what does ibadah mean? That's translated as worship. Etymologically, ibadah is translated or related to the word abd, which means slave. Because in relation to God, in relation to the creator, his creation are his slaves and servants who are subordinate to him, who are submissive to him, who are obligated to give, uh, give him absolute obedience due to the creator, the all-knowing, the all-merciful, the all-powerful, deserving of this. Thus the creation shows obedience to the Most High, either willingly and unwillingly. We understand this from reality. If we observe... Uh, if we observe life, if we observe reality, the creation either, either obeys the will and the decree and the command of the creator willingly or unwillingly. Regarding this, the Quran says in chapter 41 verse 11, Then he turned towards the heaven when it was still like smoke, saying to it and to the earth, Submit willingly or unwillingly. They both respond responded, We submit willingly. That's the verse. That's the greatest blessing of existence and life is only because of the mercy and the grace of the necessary being. 